Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today I have my Linksys Wi-Fi router, the N300, also referred to as the E1200. Well, setting it up is very easy on the Cisco one. It's not very challenging compared to the other brands that are there. So they have really worked on making the whole process more simplified. Uh, basically, all you need to do is plug in the power, which is over here. Then you need to plug the Ethernet jack to a computer. You don't use the yellow one unless you want to connect to the network. So before, make sure just connect the connection to any blue Ethernet jack. Then, of course, you can always follow the DVD, which they guide you through the process. Okay. So let's see, um, we set up the IP address to, in this case, we were, let's take a different one than the ones out there. 192.171.1.1, .1 .1, NetMask 255, 255, 255, Class C. Of course, you know, you, you could start from, uh, say, it's suggesting you start from 100. Maybe we could do that, okay? So once you do that, that's part of the setup. Okay, now we enter the new IP address after you reset it. Make sure you enter the new one, otherwise you'll be stuck thinking the 192.168. I advise you to probably change the IP address, so just in case somebody else is tapping through another IP address. Enter the password admin admin, you get into it. And basically I'm using the manual mode. All we did is change this over here to uh, 171 instead of 168. IP address you got 50 of them starting from number 100 you can see that over here in particular okay so notice that we set up the initial part uh, for the, the basic setup you don't need to touch any of this stuff over here you need to go to the wireless section and enter an SSID I would choose uh, like say test in this case or right, one two three four okay so that's the one that's going to show up on your um, computer if you put it on wireless mode and you need to log in so for that to work you need to enter a password in this case is disabled right now you want to enter that click on I would suggest you use WPA2 mix mode that's currently the most safest one test and test and of course let's do save settings then it says really safe in message displays go back to the security section you have uh, I, IPv4 and v6 you don't need to mess with these stuff they all default setup is enabled so is VPN pass-through it's enabled unless you're doing um, gaming you need to go here and also different access policies for the kids parental control which I you know we don't do that um, over here you want to enter the password for the the router just enter any password that's easily safe not easy to remember otherwise it won't be a password you want remote management on this screen you make sure you need to click this this is a big gotcha otherwise you're gonna have a hard time managing it without connecting directly to it once you enter that you want to hit save then the screen changes to okay admin and your new password Let's see if I remember there you go so basically you notice the password works we just tested it out and lastly we won the uh, And you know, it tells you about the firmware date. In this case, is pretty new. That's the latest one I've seen. Of course, there's always a new one will pop up at the time. You also manage your IP addresses and renew IP addresses. And that's pretty much the video. So, you know, when you've done, you just close the screen. See you next time. Bye.